Hi, welcome to Katia V5 video tutorial. Now the grill in Katia V5. Done very similar to the NX version. So, let's have fun with Katia V5. Let's start by inserting some bodies just as a precaution and some geometrical sets. So one for the sketches maybe and one for the surfaces. Let's begin with a sketch. And the sketch is geometrical set. And I could switch to shape design, of course, like this. Now go for a sketch, I go for a positioned one, and I will position this one right on the Y set plane. Hide these elements as usual. I need a circle. Diameter should be 600. The center point should be aligned with the set axis coincident. And the distance between that circle and that axis should be 200. Now some construction lines. This maybe okay. That point should be on that axis and of course on this axis as well. Coincident that angle might be eighty. And it should be symmetric to the set axis. Let's trim. And this should be trimmed. OK. And I want to rotate this around that axis. So go for a revolve and that one axis should be the y axis and let's go for 35 or 40 degrees. Let's use 35 and 35. And that should be in this geometrical set. Now two more sketches. Let's go for another positioned one on the XY plane. That's OK. And hide the revolute for the moment. And the sketch should be in that one. Hide those as usual. Now go for a line. And this should be right there, coincident. It should be symmetric to that x axis, like this. And Let's show this one. The length might be, let's go for 300. Let's take a look. If we 
looking normal to that plane no this should be let's go for 280 Okay, let's move this sketch into that set. Then another one, I will need an axis which is parallel to that axis and it should be 100 down. So go for a line, go for point and direction. Close that lock. The point, create point, set should be minus 100. Confirm. And direction, that axis or this plane. Like that and make it maybe 100. So it's easier to select. Okay. And I even could extrude that line but I will go for a sketch so go for another sketch on the XY plane okay hide these okay just a line make it coincident to that axis make it symmetric to the y-axis and give it a dimension and that might be let's take a look 180 190 let's go for 180 I could change it afterwards anyway so that line should be in a different set so I go for another geometric set call this uh, yeah references and this should be not there it should be in the part okay sketch should be here line should go there okay now let's make extrudes so insert another geometrical set call this one extrudes Let's extrude that one and this one. Extrude this one in that direction. Yeah, go for, let's say, 300. Or 250 would do as well. So go for 250. Yeah, but I want to no, 300 is better. It's better to go for 300 because I want to pattern it, and it could happen that it will not cut that surface. Now I notice that line is too long, so go for that sketch, this one, and make it. Let's go for 260. That's better. Next, this line right here, but not, uh, that's the wrong one. I want to use this line here. Yeah, I know that sketch and it should go in that direction and again go for 300. Yeah, that looks okay. 
I've renamed the two bodies. Body Y is for that direction. So for this extrude and body X is in X direction for that extrude. I want to thicken those two surfaces and I will need offset surfaces of this one of the revolute. Let's go to the surfaces. I need one with two millimeter offset in that direction. So let's switch back to generative shape design and make uh, an offset surface from the revolute and it should go not in this direction but in the other direction and it should be two millimeter reverse direction and confirm so it should be this one maybe switch that to shaded with edges so that's the offset four and i will rename this one and call this one offset minus two i will need two more of those offset surfaces but maybe first do the thickening so let's switch to body y switch back to part design and go for thicken and i would to thicken y direction that one 0 0.5 0 0.5 and confirm then go to body x and make another thicken with that surface here 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay now let's pattern first this one because it's already the active body i need a circular pattern i want to pattern the complete body that's okay the current solent the reference element for this one would be that line this one instances and angular spacing yes i need eight with three degrees in between and i want it to be on the other side like that one two three four five six maybe let's go for six so i will go for seven here so i got six in that direction now switch back to body Y and do another circular pattern. Yeah, seven three degrees. Reference element would be the Y axis, and let's go in that direction. That's okay and confirm. Now I want to make a union with those two bodies. So, select them, go to add, and add them to the part body. Confirm. Now I want to split it with my revolute. So go for a split with the revolute, this one, and turn this around, confirm. Then go for another split, and now it would be the minus two offset surface, and in that direction, confirm. So this should vanish. Yeah. So if I hide my surfaces for the moment and the extrudes, it looks like this. Okay. Let's bring back the extrudes. So I could do it in that body, yeah. So I want to thicken this one. 
and I would have to pattern not the body but the features. So I will go for another new body once and twice. So that would be the body in, let's call this one, body limit y in y direction. And that would be body limit x direction which means that is active and x direction is this one so I want to limit it by something like this so where to go maybe Go to that extrude geometrical set and pattern this one circular. Yeah, I know, doesn't matter. I need only two, and I would go for 21 degree. The reference element would be the y axis. Okay, and then the two, 21 degrees, and of course, I don't want to pattern this one, but, so that's odd because I thought I made this one the active geometrical set, but it went there because something was still selected. Okay, let's try it once more. That's crazy, I don't want to pattern Oh yeah, my fault, I have to switch of course to the shape design and then I could pattern that surface. That's kind of odd, but it is like it is. So I want to pattern this one. Two, let's try 21 degrees. Reference element is the y-axis. Let's take a look where this will go. Click OK and confirm. Yeah. And maybe go for not 21 but 22 degrees. Because I want to make a surface with 2 mm in that direction. Then pattern the other one. Now let's pattern this one. Reference element would be that one reverse, so it goes in that direction again 22 degrees. Great. Now I go for body limit y direction, that's this one. And I want to make thicken surface it should go for two millimeters and zero let's select it in that direction that's okay first body and make this the active one and go again for a thicken surface this one that direction two millimeter and okay Yes. Now let's add those two. So that boundary should be two millimeter higher than this one. So I could add those two together, then split, and then add it there. Or I could add both of them here and I will go for this one, add both of them to this body, to the part body, confirm, 
let's hide surface and surface bring back those and I need an offset surface so make this one the active one two millimeter from the revolute so go for an offset switch to shape design go for an offset surface from the revolute two millimeter in this direction okay and now split the body with that one let's hide those two for the moment let's go for a split go back to part design go for a split I want to split I know with this surface and the other way around and confirm let's hide and hide now I need another surface from the Revolut bring it back and this should be not from the Revolut I could use it of course I want one with a distance to this one with minus one so show it and go for another offset surface switch back and i want an offset to this one but in the other direction and this should be one millimeter so this would be from the original one minus three millimeter so let's this one offset minus three okay hide this one offset minus two offset minus three so oh yeah here it is So by switching over here and over there, it changed my, yeah, okay. Let's change this one back to the minus one. Or was it the plus two? I think that was the plus two. Okay. And that's the one. Let's move it here and rename it to minus three yeah that's the one hide this one and now split again the body go to part design and split the body once more so it should go to the one and only body that's okay I want to use that as tool and this should be removed so that arrow points in the right direction and hide this one let's take a look yeah that looks okay now I could of course split with the planes so go for another split I want to split with this plane that's okay and another split with that plane that's okay and i got this i could hide that sketch now i need the two planes those this one and that one and I could split again the body with those two planes so go for another split that should happen here split with this one in that direction yeah split once more with that surface in this direction yeah that's okay 
and now hide those two once more. So it looks like this. Great. I need another body. So let's go to insert body. And that body should be the boundary. Let's call it boundary. Or the outer rim, whatever you call. Let's call it uh, your boundary. And that boundary should be a thickened surface, and therefore I will have to bring back my revolute, make it visible. And I have to split it or trim it. Let's try to trim it. Let's hide that body for the moment. And I want to trim it with those two planes. So switch back to shape design. And it should be, maybe I put it here. And I want to split it with those two planes first. So let's try to trim. I go for trim. I want to trim this surface with that plane. Really? Not possible to trim it? Okay, then I will split it. Doesn't matter. So let's go for a split. Split this one with that one. That will work. That's okay. And split it with that one as well. That's okay too. Now bring back the two extrudes, the one which were patterned, this one, and that one. And now I want to have this side removed. Let's see if we can do it with those two surfaces. I can go for a split as well. So that should be right here. That's okay. Let's see. Let's try a trim. Go for trim. I want to trim that surface. I will click here with this one. So it will remove that side. Yeah, but it will remove this one as well. But if I add that surface, and switch it and switch it no no i got this one okay so maybe i go for a split it's so hard to see and that tool is not as good as it is in an x so let's go for a split. So let's split this surface here with that one. Go for intersection. It should. Yeah, that's okay. And I want to keep both sides. Okay. So I have this surface and that surface. Now let's split once more that surface with this one. And OK. Let's hide and hide. And I want to join those two. So go for a join and select this one and that one. And OK. Now, show the part body, make it active, and go for another thickened surface with that one. So I've got 
two millimeter. Let's go for two millimeter in that direction, I suppose. So switch back to part design and see if we can do this without an error message. So I want to thicken that surface, but in the other direction, two millimeter. Let's make a preview. Yeah, this looks good and confirm. Hide that surface. That's this join. So I might use two more surfaces to split here and there. Okay, so let's go to our extrudes. Show this one and that one. Make another circular pattern. So go over to the shape design, go for a circular pattern. I want to pattern this one, two instances. The reference element would be that one. Move it over here and go for, let's say, 26. Let's take a look. Yeah, 26 looks okay and confirm. And then another circular pattern. Yeah, it was selected somehow. I want to pattern this one to 26 degrees. Reference element. No, that's the wrong one. Not this extrude, but the first extrude. And that would be the y-axis as reference element. And OK. Let's take a look. Yeah, it looks OK. I could go maybe not for 26, but 28 or 27. Yeah, this looks better. Now back to part design. And I want to split my body with those two. Let's hide this one and that one. And see if we can split or if we have to extend these. Where's my split? There is split. I know. With this one. Let's see if this works. No, it doesn't. So I have to extend it. Okay. Next extend these, so switch back to our shape design and extend, where is the extend, there it is, I want to extend this edge, that surface and just, yeah that's okay, same with this one, extend it. Yeah, maybe 40, that should do. And now I should be able to part design. Split it. Split. Yeah, I know. With this one, that's okay. And split it once more. With that one, yeah, that's okay. Hide and hide. Now some fillets. Let's go for five millimeter. Yeah. Here on this edge. Okay. Let's see if we can fillet it here. So that edge may be 10 millimeter. Okay, and this might be a problem, we'll see. 
let's go for 7 millimeter on this edge because sometimes it doesn't work okay yeah and down below as well again seven millimeters on this edge confirm great now let's mirror this so where's my mirror command it should be somewhere over here there's a mirror mirror this one oh great one of the selected features thick surface can't be transformed that's amazing that's the mirror command i want to mirror the body should i should be able to mirror the body let's see let's mirror the body the complete body with that plane okay then again mirror again the complete body so go for another mirror with that plane and confirm yeah this looks okay it's all in one body so let's change the view style to yeah looks great i think i'm done so i hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give it a like or leave a comment please excuse my happy accident Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook fan page. Would be very really nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.